My name is Gloria Sansbury. I live here in Ship Bottom, and I enjoy going down to see the sunsets and the boats, and I do knitting. And I made about, I think it was 56 blankets, uh, lap blankets for the patients at the hospital. And I volunteer my time there. Two months after um, Sandy, I was trying to salvage what was left of my home, bringing stuff outside to the curb, bringing stuff upstairs. And then I started to develop this pain I had between my shoulders, my arm, and I figured, well, it was from throwing things away, taking it out to the curb. Then I was having breakfast one morning, and I noticed that I had a funny feeling in my face, and um, not thinking, you know, it could be something wrong with my heart or anything. A couple of days later, I started to have this indigestion, and it just, just would not go away. We went over, I drove the car into the doctor's office. He asked me what was wrong, and I told him, and he asked me about my mother and father's history. I told them they both had heart trouble. And uh, he took a cardiogram, he came back, and um, he says, I'd like you to go to the hospital, because I think you're on the verge of a heart attack. I'm going, really? I don't know, I, I just, because I, I couldn't picture myself having a heart attack. Drove to the hospital to Southern Ocean. My lucky day was when Dr. Ink walked in. Um, he was the best doctor you can have. He was very understandable. He talked with me. He told me that he was going to take me to the OR to, to see what was my problem. And I said, OK. And then after that, he said, um, he came back after I was brought back from the OR. He came back and he says, um, we have to go to uh, Jersey Shore to do a procedure. And um, you have some blockages. It was very easy, no stopping you know, to get the information, because they all, they all had the information. And um, they admitted me, and um, he talked to my husband and my daughter about what he was going to do, clearing out my blockages and put the stent in, and I was there for overnight. It was an easy procedure. The nurses, the staff people were very, very nice. The next day, my husband came along with the car and brought me home. I still do a lot of knitting and I enjoy volunteering. I want to make sure I'm here for my children, my grandchildren. And, um, but I knew I was going to be okay because I knew I was in good hands.